Teachers union leader under fire this morning for comparing school choice, yes, to segregation. Randy Weingarten, the head of the American Federation of Teachers, saying, quote, make no mistake, this use of privatization coupled with disinvestment are only slightly more polite cousins of segregation. Here to discuss is the Blaze, Blaze host, Lawrence Jones. Good morning. Uh, what's your reaction to that good, kind of statement? Good morning, brother. Well, it's false, first of all, because we know the only mission of this teachers' union and this president is to serve teachers. It's not so much to serve students. And so when you hear these talking heads or these union reps uh, talking about an issue from a race standpoint, it's only to incite people and to get them worked up. But her real interest is the teachers, not the students. And in fact, there are a lot of African-American students, young students, uh, who benefit from school choice. Right. Uh, the party of the left, uh, the Democratic Party, is supposed to advocate for equality among students. Mm -hmm. And it's clear, based on the data, that people that live in urban zip codes have a poor quality of education. I experienced that myself. Uh, grew up in Dallas, and then my parents moved to a suburb in Garland where there was school choice, where we could go to any school within the district instead of the school that was in our zip code. And so we had a pool of schools for my p parents to decide, okay, this school is working for my my child. What happens is, Ed, and this is why she's upset, mm -hmm. is that when you see students starting to migrate to uh, a certain pool of schools and the population for some of the schools uh, drop, then they eventually lose funding and have to shut the, uh, the school down. So the teachers lose their jobs. But if the school isn't performing, uh, then the school needs to be shut down. What is Randy Weingarten really doing here? Is the union chief thinking about protecting uh, these public schools, the union jobs, is, is it about that and less about the students? It is definitely about protect, protecting the jobs of the teachers. But they use this one interesting strategy in my community uh, that's worked in the past, but I, I'm here to dispel the myth. They tell <laughs> black communities that um, they're just trying to bust you out of your community. This is just segregation. And my response is very simple. If the school is failing, why the hell would you want to stay at the school? Yeah. Why? Do you want a quality education for your child? And I think most parents can agree with that message. I think it's time for these unions to start putting the interests of the students first uh, and not the teachers. And how about when these union chiefs talk about social justice, they talk about equality, but are not opening it up to school choice? Exactly. And, and we've seen schools uh, um, um, that benefit from the school choice. You see uh, Dr. Steve uh, Perry, who has a charter school, mm -hmm. where not only did he get 100 percent of the black kids that uh, went to the school to graduate, but all of them got full ride scholarships to college. We know school, course, uh, school choice works because it's competition. It's the free market. And I think conservatives and libertarians should get to the front of this fight to show uh, uh, the liberals how this is done and I think it's an opportunity to get people that typically wouldn't vote for our side to vote for us because we're advocating for kids. Well you can hear it. He's fired up this morning. Lawrence Jones at the place. Appreciate <laughs> you joining us. Thanks Ed.